when a murderous enemy is at your door, threatening to take away everything of importance. Your only option is to band together and fight. Blood will be shed and lives destroyed. One man will stand up to make a difference. <laughs> Stop trying to run! Oh my god, that is the best thing I've ever seen. What is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. If you're coming from the People Playground videos, I hope you enjoy this series. I'm having a lot of fun with it, so I really appreciate you checking it out. Last time, uh, I had a lot of people telling me to get the secret units and do mods. I did go through and grab all the secret units. The most expensive one, which I'm gonna take to mean the strongest, is Artemis. So I've got two of them. Two Artemises? Uh... Artemises? Artemi? I've got two Artemises. I I have two of them. And then I've got uh, 508 halflings. Enough talking, let's get to it. Let's see what happens. That is a little bit of a terrifying sight. Oh my god, they're closing in really fast. I think our Artemis character is uh, about to get buried. Oh, there they go! <laughs> They've started. Oh my god, just like in piles. Oh my god, and it's just so blurry. <laughs> what was that? He's trying to get the bow. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. This is like a work of art. Oh my god, they're just standing on a pile of them. <laughs> Dude, do you see that one's leap? They can jump so high. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's like World War Z. Oh no, she's gonna get dogpiled. If they start jumping on her, that is gonna be amazing. I think she might be dead. She is. Oh, they won. I bet two ice giants could take on all these halflings no problem, right? The whole thing with the Artemis unit is she does not want to get into melee range. The ice giants, on the other hand, that's exactly what they want. That's what they're built for. So I bet this is going to go very poorly for the halflings and also my computer. Here we go. Now we're in range. Okay, the ice giant immediately, just one hit. They have already killed like a hundred halflings. Oh man, they... They're doing a pretty good job. Oh, until they exploded everywhere. <laughs> uh, I think the halflings, th yep, that was the last one right there. Wow, not even close. Can all the halflings take on one ice giant? Only one way to find out. Here we go, this is gonna be good. Look at that, just immediately. <laughs> oh, that looks amazing. Oh my god, look at that. How many did he just kill in a single swipe? Like all these guys are dead. That is crazy. Oh, he missed. Oh, that's huge. They they better use this as an opportunity to uh, get an advantage. There's still probably a good like 50 of them there. Oh, he just punched himself. <laughs> he just punched himself. I think he's having a hard time at this point. Look, he, he's disoriented. He doesn't know what to do. He's just spinning. Oh wait, here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> he just hit himself right in the crotch. Okay, I, yeah, wow. Now I wish I could see like how close that actually was. Like I wish he had a health bar or something so I could see. Yeah, I don't know. It did, I'll tell you what, it didn't look close at all. I don't know that there's any amount of halflings that can take on an ice giant. It just it doesn't seem to be a thing that can happen. So I know that there's some other units that aren't aren't secret units, but they're kind of secret. Like like the tornado tank, I looked up, I know how to do that. I don't know how many uh, units like that there are that have like special combinations with other units. And I also don't know how many cheerleaders I need. I'm just gonna do a bunch. Let's see, let's see if the halflings can take on a tornado tank. There it is, it's a tornado. Oh look, it's just sucking them in. Pretty sure the tornado's winning so far, but uh, I think it's it still has a lot of guys to kill. This is amazing. Though it just leaves like a trail of them in its path. It just sucks them in and runs them over, spits them out behind it, but they're still alive. Okay, like not all of them, but a lot of them are still alive. They're getting up, <laughs> they're rising from the pile of bodies, uh, and they just keep going. Like, is the tank actually gonna be able to kill all of these halflings? I feel like no! Wow! That is really impressive. Just the sheer number of halflings. The tornado tank could not kill them all. I mean, it, it really didn't even kill that many! I, I can't- Whoa, what's that? Oh, well a bunch of them fell through the map or something. Wow, that was crazy. Alright, so for the sake of being able to run this game at a reasonable speed, 
I'm gonna clear the 508 halflings or whatever number it was. Uh, and I mean, I'm gonna make a lot. Maybe like, I don't know. Wow, I'm bad at drawing lines. All right, let's try this. 100 halflings, a several Taekwondo guys. Oh man, this might actually be kind of close. They're kicking the crap. <laughs> They're just punting them. Wow. <laughs> no, those kicks are amazing. 100 halflings against uh, 17 Taekwondo guys. Yeah, like way, way, not, it's just not even close. How about we spread them out a little bit and let's try 10. 10 Taekwondo guys against 100 halflings. This seems like it could be interesting. I wanna, I wanna catch one of these kicks. Oh, kick that guy while he was down. <laughs> that was dirty. <laughs> oh, she like drop kicked him. That was awesome. Halflings won that time. And again, looked not really that close. The, uh, the Taekwondo guys are pretty funny. I do like that. Uh, I'm kind of curious about this Vlad the Impaler guy. Oh, and he looks mean. Those are mean googly eyes. I don't know. I, I feel like, uh, the halflings are still gonna win this. There's just way too many of them. What, what are you doing? Stab them. <laughs> Dude, they swing those sticks pretty hard. <laughs> are you kidding me? They beat the crap out of those guys. <laughs> I just love the impact. <laughs> Dude, they're hitting each other. That's amazing. <laughs> Friendly fire. Okay. How about some cavalry? I feel like, um, I feel like the halflings will beat the cavalry. Also, I'm sure that these horses are going to run very derpily. <laughs> Dude, this horse cannot even run. <laughs> Not even run! Oh my god, that is amazing. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, just plowing through them. Getting all up under the horse's legs, getting stepped on. Oh, look at that, that 180. Just, that horse, like, turned on a dime. All right, that was like a piece of cake for these guys. Now, this guy looks really tough, and he's worth 3,000 points. Why is he shaking? I guess he's a little scared, uh, and I probably would be too. There, that's a lot of guys, but I think you can do it, man. You look pretty tough. We'll do two of them against a hundred halflings. Let's see. Oh, they throw their axes. Oh, that's badass. Oh my god, this is not even close. Well, I don't know. It might be. Oh, he killed himself. Oh no, he didn't. He's getting up. He's probably hurting himself worse than the halflings are hurting him. Wow. Wait, what? Red one? Who's still alive on the red team? I thought for sure uh, the axe throwing guys had that. So what if we just do one farther away so he has more time to throw axes? No, he's just walking even closer. Oh, I don't know, this is kind of close. Come on, dude, throw your axes. Stop hitting yourself. Oh, you missed. <laughs> he threw the wrong direction. Oh my God, get up, get up, get up. Come on, you can do it. Oh no, there's still a few left. Oh, he killed himself. That was actually really close though. Lady Red Jade? How about three of those against a hundred halflings? Oh, she's just missing. She's not even hitting them. They're too short. <laughs> oh my god, she they are just so derpy. <laughs> what is that? That is the most bizarre fighting style I've ever seen. She's just flailing around. I they I think they win though. They win pretty easily. <laughs> just spin. Just... Okay. Wow. That, um... That was awesome. I really like the Lady Red Jade. That was pretty awesome. All right, guys, so I've put together what I feel will be an epic battle. Uh, so we've got the Ancient on the red side. Uh, they've got tons of ballistas, snake archers, you know, up, perched up high, so they should be able to just rain arrows down on the blue side. And then down low, they've got a couple minotaurs, bunch of shield guys, bunch of spear guys. They've got a pretty solid front line. And then going up the stairs, all the way up to Zeus, we've got knights. I know that doesn't really fit, but I needed a good, like, just solid heavy unit there on the stairs, protecting Zeus. 
So that's the red side. The blue side here uh, is the, I guess, the attacking side. They're, I guess, gonna try to get up and kill Zeus. Uh, they've got a solid front line, bunch of halberds, bunch of fencers. That should be really cool. Uh, they have very good range. They've got the musketeers and the balloon archers. And then they've got, uh, it's not cavalry, technically, they're jousters, which is, I mean, whatever. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Let's just try this out, see how it does. It's probably gonna be a disaster and not work out at all how I think it will. Uh, but hopefully it'll still be a lot of fun. So I guess the first thing I'm curious to see is uh, this frontline battle, but really how uh, the red ranged units do with the ballista and the snake archers. Oh man, that minotaur is already dead. Wow, they just, the minotaur just charged in there and are getting slaughtered. Oh, <laughs> that horse. <laughs> Knocking over his own archer. I don't know who did that. Oh, but the jouster is still uh, Still walking around without his horse. and That's pretty cool. Oh, he just ate a snake The balloon archers are not doing what I thought they would do. It seems like they shoot Balloons at guys and then the balloons lift them away Interesting. Oh wait here come the knights. The knights are starting to come down the stairs uh, And they are whoa Oh, this is this game is insane at full speed. Oh my god, Zeus is gonna die. I really thought that the red would do better. Zeus is dead. I'm pretty sure that's game if Zeus is dead. You've got like one awkward snake archer here who's like stuck on a wall. And then I guess there's still a ballista that can't seem to get turned around. I think the ballistas just are not working at all. Wait, hold on, what's this? We've got a snake archer crying in the corner and these guys are trying to get to him and they just cannot figure out. <laughs> You just can't figure out how to do it. They're... <laughs> God. <laughs> that is so bad. I I am sorry about this. I'm, I'm going to have to censor this out. This is too much. What is this guy doing? <laughs> what is he doing? That looks wrong. That looks so wrong. <laughs> Because his his jow his spear thing is caught in between the pillars, but then the horse's head is stuck between two columns. <laughs> Still trying to run. Oh my god, that is the best thing I've ever seen. That is amazing. So I think this is officially a stalemate. I think everyone who's alive has no idea what they're doing. They're not responding well to the terrain. I love that this horse is stuck. That is so awesome. Oh, did one of them actually get over there? Oh, look at this. Oh, no. Dodge it, dodge it. Dodge it. <laughs> okay, that was not good. Oh, I accidentally restarted it. Well, you know, that was really cool and all, but these guys standing up on, like, the roofs and stuff doesn't work. And let's just replace those units down here. I think a few ballistas... We'll try to keep it pretty even here. Uh, a few of the snake archers. I think they could use like one or two more minotaurs. Let's give this a try. Okay, here the minotaur are winding up. Charging in there, man, they get through that front line like no problem. But then they get just trampled by the horses. Oh man, I don't know, this minotaur are pretty tough. I think maybe adding two of them was too much. Oh Zeus, what are you doing, man? <laughs> Oh, he's getting carried away! <laughs> it's sort of an advantage for him, because he can still throw! Oh, guys, I don't know about this. I think I think Red might have it this time. Let's see what these ballistas do. Oh, man! <laughs> oh, that ballista's awesome. Oh, my God. One balloon archer against two ballista. I think I know who's going to win. Wow, look how slow it travels in super slow-mo. But this is awesome. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Ballista in slow-mo about to finish this fight. It's actually, I think it's going to end the fight as soon as it hits him. Which is really a tragedy because I kind of wanted to see him travel through the air. Oh, fight's over. Wow. Okay. Uh, so that was actually pretty close. And wow, this battlefield is just nuts. So it really just came down to the two ballistas. Like that's... 
I feel like that's a pretty close fight. I'm I'm pretty happy about it. All right, guys, that is all the time I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really still just getting my feet wet in this game. There's so much stuff going on here, so many different units, uh, all these different, like, maps that you can play on. Uh, there's still a huge campaign that I've hardly messed around with at all. And then on top of all of that, there's still mods that I have not even looked at yet, uh, but I will be checking those out. I'm really curious to see what people are coming up with for this game. Uh, I don't even know what options are out there, if there are maps, units, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm hoping to uh, continue doing these videos and just explore all this stuff, see what kind of funny things we can do. Just keep trying to break the game, basically. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please do, so you don't miss any future uploads. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.